Hi again. In this little tutorial, which will take about five, eight minutes, we will analyze the vertical motion of a projectile launch on a surface as shown um, in this diagram. Just to recap the main points, um, you could go back and review the previous video. We know that the origin is where the projectile is launched. So um, X naught is zero, Y naught is zero. We know that AX is zero, AY is negative G. So we will analyze the vertical motion. When I say analyze the vertical motion, we, we are, I'm basically, I, what I mean is, is that we are gonna look conceptually, graphically, and mathematically how the position varies with time vertically, how the velocity varies with time vertically, and how the acceleration varies with time vertically. And also, we will develop a model Basically, we will develop a mathematical expression that will give us the ability to predict the motion of the object vertically. Bear with me that V Y will be equal to V O Y plus A Y T. This is equal to V O sine theta minus G T. So this is V Y. Similarly, Y is equal to Y naught plus V O Y T plus one half A Y T squared. We know that this is zero because the object starts moving from the origin. So y will be equal to V O T sine theta minus one half G T squared. So this gives us the equation that shows us how the position of the object changes with time in the y direction. So if we draw the graph of V, Vy, the graph will look like this. This is T. It is worthwhile for you to understand that this area is equal to this area. This is the maximum height. At maximum height, Vy is equal to zero. And that makes a lot of sense. So you should take note that at maximum height right here, the velocity, the, the, sorry, the projectile stops moving upwards but keeps on moving forward. So if, if I throw this, this look, at, look at this carefully. If I, if I project this pen at maximum height, what happens? It stops going upwards because the velocity at that, the vertical velocity at that point is zero, but keeps on moving forward. And therefore, if, if we do the graph of y against t, it's going to be a projectile pack just like you've seen. One thing is certain, that the motion of a projectile is symmetrical in time and uh, in position. The motion of a projectile is symmetrical in time and uh, in position. In the next series of lessons, we will look at how to calculate the maximum height. We will look at how to calculate the time of flight. We will look at how to calculate the range. 
and what really that implies or what really that means. Please, if you have any questions, ask in the discussion forum. Thank you for your time.